before that, our next guest changed history by protesting for equal rights for disabled people in the 1990s. And tonight's Barbara Lisicki's inspirational story is being told in a new drama. Yeah. Um, a real life Barbara joins us now. It's lovely to have you here. Thank you. I'm actually going to start not the way I planned to start this chat because I'm going to start with an apology. Um, because reading your story this morning, it's a, but parts of it, things I'd never heard before, and that's the important mission that, that you were on and still are on. And, uh, and you, I looked towards the, the end of the interview and thought, you know, sort of how much are we progressing, how much better are we getting? And then I find out this morning that the car company we use for this show, and we specifically asked them for a car that would enable your access, and we had to change the order of the show today because they didn't send a car you could get into. And so we still have a long way to go. It's one of life's daily ironies. And how do you feel when that happens? Um, well, it's a frustration that all disabled people encounter. You know, that there's, it's big stuff, it's little stuff, but there's always something that is a barrier to just being able to get on with following your plans or living your life. Yeah. And Barbara, you've been so influential in making those plans happen. Um, take us back to your story, because you, have you always been an activist or um, did it come when you met Alan? Oh, no, I was an activist long before I met Alan. Yeah, I've been campaigning on all sorts of issues. I mean, I campaigned with Greenpeace when it, was, when it first started, mm. ironically, in a fur coat. Oh, <laughs> <you>? <laughs> it was well. at the time where you could pick them up in second-hand shops yeah. for five quid, you know. But, yeah, um, I, I've been a campaigner for many, many years. It just always seemed to me that... There, there are so many injustices in the world. There are so many ways in which people, not just disabled people, but people don't get a fair deal. Mm. And I can't sit back and just watch it happen. Well, thank goodness for people like you. Yeah. Um, so it was in, uh, I, I think you started your com comedy career in 1988. You met Alan, um, uh, who you went on to, uh, to marry, have, you, have uh, your daughter, and yes. sadly a relationship that didn't last this length of time, but nevertheless was very important at the time. Yeah. Um, and so was it, as Josie said then, once you, once you had met Alan on this comedy gig and the circuit, um, often when two people meet, that's when you know that something amazing is going to happen. Was that the situation with you guys? I think that we started touring together fairly soon after we met and we formed the Tragic But Brave show with a really good guy called Ian Stanton who was also a singer-songwriter. Mm. And, yeah, we took that around the UK, we took it around Europe and we, we toured it all across America. So there were people that wanted to hear what we had to say. Well, it was with, with him you started the Disabled People's Direct Action Network, yeah. Dan, and your first target was a telethon. Yes. Why? Why? Um, well, the telethon actually arose... That Dan arose from the telethon. We were contacted by some young disabled people in West London who said that to us, there's another telethon coming up, we can't bear it. And the reason they couldn't bear it is because they found it patronising, they found it offensive. And our argument is that disabled people were only ever portrayed at that time in the early 90s as a focus of charity. And... There was no other identity. We weren't represented in the media in any other way apart from as people who you donate to. And that was unacceptable. Mm. Wow. Um, look, 28 years on, your story is being made into a drama. Why did you pick a drama, not a documentary? It wasn't my choice. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> it was... It was um, the company Dragonfly that made the film. Mm. They approached Jack Thorne to write it, and Jack Thorne is such a, an amazing television writer that I was delighted. I mean, I would never argue with that. Were you sceptical at first, though? I was surprised. Yeah. Um, because I was expecting it to be um, a, 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 just a, a regular kind of talking heads, yeah, yeah. you know, documentary. But the idea of a drama grew on me more and more. And then I met Ruth when Ruth was cast, Ruth Maidley. BAFTA 
uh, yeah, nominated absolutely. Ruth. Uh, so you're yeah. really happy that Ruth got to play you. I'm very happy, and Ruth should get a BAFTA for this. She's a very good Barbara. You're, you're, you're good friends, are you? We've made friends oh, since yes. meeting on, on over this, yeah. We should also say that Arthur Hughes plays uh, you, uh, Alan, you're Alan. Yeah. Um, there are there are moments within this docudrama which uh, are very important in changing the way the the law, uh, the way that uh, people react. Hopefully, you know, slightly more successfully than we did today, or um, we tried. Um, but uh, but for instance, Westminster Bridge, the day yeah. the day you stop the traffic on Westminster Bridge, um, and I think we've got a we've got a clip. So that was the sort of activism you uh, you took part in yes. uh, on on the Westminster Bridge one. I think a police officer said you're causing an inconvenience. Yes. What did you say to the police officer? Well, it was actually a, a, another Dan person called Sue Ellsgood who said, I'm inconvenienced every day of my life. Mm. And so if, if people are inconvenienced on this one occasion, they're just going to have to deal with it. Mm. And that's how we felt, really, um, that, you know, disabled people still encounter continuous barriers. Mm. And at that time, we couldn't get on the bus. I mean, that, that was the sort of fact of it. We couldn't travel had, on public transport. You had your own cameo part in this, though, didn't you? Yeah. yeah how did you find that? It was great. It was, yeah, because um, I don't want to give too much away for people that watch the drama. But, yeah, I kept the last word. That's oh, pretty cool, isn't it? Love it. What you did um, was you changed the law. I mean, you uh, you had a long-lasting impact. There is uh, the Police Crime Sentencing and Courts Bill, which is in the process of being evaluated, but that will criminalise the act of peaceful protest. And one of the messages um, for you uh, that you wanted to get out today was that. That, um, that bill is taking away the rights that people have had for decades since the suffragettes and before. You know, we got the law changed and new laws introduced because people took direct action and people took political action. And it is such a deep-rooted and essential part of the history that we've got. And to try and remove that is, I think, just a a stupid and dunderheaded move on the part of this government that they, they don't recognise mm. that people must have this right and people will carry on doing it. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Just quickly and very finally, um, uh, your, your view on society as a whole. I mean, I, I would like to think that since those early days, the 80s and the 90s, that, that it has got better. Things have at least got easier. I think some things have got easier, certainly, um, but we can look at statistics in unemployment, for example. Disabled people still um, find it much, much harder to get a job, are discriminated systematically in the jobs market, so that about half of disabled people of working age who would like to work don't. Thank you. It's uh, uh, it been a pleasure meeting you, Barbara. Um, uh, Thank when Barbara, you. Um, the, then, then Barbara met Alan is tonight at nine on uh, on BBC Two. Thank you. What a woman! What a woman! Thank Thanks. you very much. Thanks Thank very you. Much. It was a lot of people. It wasn't just me. Um, of course. I mean, you but know, we'll see that in the in the drama. Yeah, yeah. Well. I, everybody gets credit for this. Thank Your you. Your magic, absolutely magic. Thank, Thank you. you.